time when I used to scour the free section of Craigslist pretty frequently and and often and the really cool stuff that shows up on Craigslist that's for free you've got to be willing to jump right on it and get it because there's gonna be 10 guys hot on your heels to to pick that up about 10 years ago I found this listed for free some kid had got it brought it home his HOA said no trailers allowed they had done some stupid kid things to it it looked like heck it wasn't painted it was raw plywood on the sides. It, they had like spray painted penises and four little words all over the place. It was really a disturbing looking trailer. And his parents were freaking out. So he had the title. I went over there and I picked it right up. It was about 20 miles from my house, brought it home, and it has done nothing but earned me money since. I have painted it, of course. I put a two by four across the very top because uh, there were the stakes and the stake beds, the vertical pieces. But he had kind of walked down the side with what looked like a jigsaw and it was just wavy plywood cut to make the sides it's 30 inches tall the side so i cut it clean i put a pl uh, two by four across the top i built that tailgate because it didn't have a tailgate and i also built those hinges from scratch i made a video called uh, how to build bomb proof hinges i think is what it was called in about 2010 or 2011. well it's gotten to the point now where you see the two by fours are a little rotten the plywood is rotten it's time to go i've got some scaffolding panels in my backyard that have been sitting there for two and a half years that were headed to the scrapper and I just couldn't see it go so I've been sitting on those with the intention to build new sides on this thing uh, so here's the journey I'm hoping to get this in a two or three part video series there it is gotta go gotta run see ya project where you're at that tipping point that tipping point and then you just come to realize that somebody needs to swiftly kick you in the nuts to bring you back to reality I'm stripping the hardware off this thing I'm stripping the rope hooks and the stake pockets to the best of my ability there most of these bolts are pretty shredded <clears throat> I'm surprised that uh, the rope hooks even held look at stuff like this it kind of scares me a little bit um, yeah it's the beauty of living by the ocean you get that marine influence and it affects everything that's what was holding on the hooks I was securing my load with but I'm at that point right now and I'm not complaining I'm just explaining as a wild eyed northern boy would say, Tommy Shoe, that's his line, not mine. I'm not complaining, I'm just explaining. I tore this trailer down with the intention of only rebuilding the sides with some scaffolding panels that I happen to have in inventory, as I've mentioned in a previous video. I thought I had plenty of time to do this. And by plenty of time, I figured I had a couple weekends I could fiddle fudge around with this thing. And uh, I just tore this apart a couple days ago. And I got a call from a guy who uh, wants me to remodel his K2 
kitchen and two bathrooms and do a bunch of work, oversee the replacement of an HVAC and gas lines and water heater replacement and movals and all kinds of all kinds of work. But what that translates to is I need my damn trailer as a trash hauler because there's some stuff. He just bought the house. There's some stuff in the garage that needs to be demoed. Kitchen needs to be demoed. The two bathrooms need to be demoed. And I need my dump run trash hauler. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, the sides were perfectly passable as they were. I could have very well left them alone, used them for this job. But I thought this job was a ways down the road um, when I started this. So I would love to strip this down to the frame and rebuild the whole deck. But that's just not going to happen. So my thinking is I'm going to build this with everything that I have in inventory. I kind of still want to make it look like a little rat rotty. Uh, I need to put another coat of paint on the deck here, otherwise that plywood's not going to last. And I do have some, some gray deck paint, same stuff, in inventory so I can paint it. But I need the sides to be sturdy enough and I don't know what I'm going to do. I got this, this steel here, if you remember this. That's what I made the bucket forks with for the uh, 48 8N. It's a 48, right? The old Ford tractor. I was thinking I would come and I would cut that, cut one of the sides off, make it into a C-channel because it would fit right over here. And then I can weld the uh, side poles and stuff onto that. And I'd sure love to take this down to the frame, but I just don't have the time. I just don't have the time to do it right, so most of these bolts are stripped. I can only imagine what they look like. You know, as I mentioned, I've had this thing 10 years or so and hadn't really done much to it. Uh, so nothing surprises me. I mean, it's, it is as worn out as I expected it to be. Shit. Shoot. Shoot. All right. That is all I had to say. <laughs> so that's kind of what we're left with. I'm not going to replace the deck. The deck is pretty solid I think with a fresh coat of paint. This plywood I put down in 2009 and uh, it's good enough. It'll be fine. Still have to strip off the hooks, the rope hooks, stake pockets. Get those nuts and bolts out of there. And then figure out how I'm going to do the edging so I can weld the scaffolding pipe work onto this thing. It's probably going to sit about 30, 32 inches high just like it was before but with the expanded metal it'll be a much nicer tow. Uh, right now with those solid sides it's uh, you know, you're just towing a windsock. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. I'm going to... I hate to... I hate to crack into that but I'm probably going to rebuild those wheel wells. Yeah, out of some 2x12s, because now I have to come out, like this one, for example. See, the wood, the metal wheel well sticks out from the wood, so I just can't skin this out unless I cut that. I don't know. I, don't know. I just wanted to get it stripped down and get this project started. This one only sticks out a little bit. Get this thing started so I uh, don't have an excuse to not do it. Suspension wise it's pretty stout. It's got a nine spring spring pack coil spring overload springs or whatever. Uh, yeah it's a little crunchy down, a little crusty down here. Nothing terminal. It's got grease ends and I've greased them up which I will do now that I've got it here. I'll repack the wheel bearings and uh, grease up these swivels on the uh, shackles. For the springs the deck is built all out of oak. These are oak, uh, I think three by threes, oak tubifers. And then these are panels. Uh, a couple spots of these, or these are like one by f six, I guess. Yeah, maybe, no, they're not even one. They're like three quarter by one. This is an oak though. This is some kind of white wood. And it was, it had a few soft areas in the front, even through the, sheet metal you could feel it was soft so then when I put that uh, sturdy floor on it the three-quarter inch sturdy floor it uh, it firmed everything up nicely 
and I'm not going to paint the undercarriage. I'm not going to do a restoration on this. I'm just going to get it functional and usable again. I know people are going, oh man, that's a original black and yellow plate, 1966 California homemade trailer. You should pull it all apart and restore it. No, I'm not going to do it because then someone will want to steal it. So anyhow, so that's how she lays out. The plywood's nice, you know. From the end there to here is 8 foot. And you got another 12 or 13 inches here. And then from that end to there is uh, a 48 inch seam and then you got 24 just about I think it's 23 or 22 and a half inches to the end there so it's roughly six wide by nine long all right so that's it I will take you along for the ride here I'm gonna build this all out of stuff I have in inventory the pipe work that I'm going to use to build the sides I grabbed about two years ago <laughs> it's been in my hoard with the intention to replace these sides uh, for the last two years so that just shows you how projects find their way to my house, but sometimes they take a while to, to get completed. So this one's been bugging me for a while. So i got to get this done, free up some space in my hoard. Blah, blah, blah. Sound like a broken record. Anywho, it's getting dark. i got to get this thing back to where it's got to get back to. So, got to go. Got to run. See you.